is Morning Routines with the I Love Success Podcast. Do you have a morning routine that you would like to share with us? Yes. Uh, in the morning, you know, wake up. Um, what time do you wake up? I usually wake up 8, 8.30. I've been doing that time. I like to have a coffee. I don't like to eat in the morning because I do my, my main training. It's in the morning before lunch. I try to do like an empty stomach, you know, a lot of... You know, people, scientists say it's good. Other people, other scientists say it's not good. But I just, I do what I think is best for me. That's how, you know. And drink coffee, spend some time, watch some funny thing on TV, you know. And then after that, you want to tell you everything? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're very curious. We want to have the, uh, as deep as you possibly can. <laughs> and then take a big shit right after that. <laughs> And I started, you know, watching some some videos, some things that is always gonna push me to do something that I do every day, but harder, you know, give me focus, determination. I usually watch a lot of like a great athletes interview, how they think. Um, I watch a lot of fights, you know, I fight not even myself, but like other fighters that I, that inspire me, that I like to see. Something that's gonna motivate me to to train for the next couple hours, and then I pack my stuff and then I drive to training. Very happy, like I think. Um, no, one thing that I didn't tell you. Um, I in the mornings I it's something very very like uh, you know you wanna know something very um, particular of me. I I listen a lot of worship songs. You know, um, I have a faith. I believe a lot in God. I'm Christian. You know. And uh, um, I like to listen uh, worship songs. It's gonna inspire me, give give me a lot of energy, empower through the day. And you know, it's good to know we have someone up there look for ourselves. You know, protect them. And uh, you know, and I I really think that you know <clears throat> I don't talk to God a lot in like interview because I don't want to sound like those Christians born that everything they say they say about the God. You know, I don't think God is He cares about that. You know, I, He really like look in your heart. But if you want really want to know that particular thing that I do in the morning, you know, and and that's what I do. Um, so you wake up eight eight thirty. Uh, you you grab a coffee, you go to the restroom, have a big <laughs> shit. Then you watch some funny movies. You move on to the ed- educational stuff, a little bit interviews, fights, and then you do your you you listen to the worship songs. Do do you pray? I do pray. I do pray, and most of the time in there I listen to worship songs when I'm driving. I'm driving to a train. The first music that I put, my first and the second I put a worship song. So that's the time that I talk with God. And then after that, before training, I put like a good music that I like it, you know, some hip hop things that give me a little bit of pump to train or like a reggaeton. And but yeah, my first thing that, you know, I listen the worship, pray with God, listen other music, completely, you know, different, different style. And then I, I and then I train. Do you think it's important to start the day positive as you do? or Because I, I've seen some people just wake up and they start working right away. Or, uh, But when you look at it a little bit closer, they're not the most successful, right? So how, how important is the mornings for you? Ah, extremely. It's really, it's really important like how you sleep, how the quality of sleep you had in the night before. And I really think like, you know, being a positive is always the best thing to, to, to become like successful in life. You know, you be like a positive uh, uh, person. And yeah, I really think that, you know, your, your night, that once that's you know, really important. And then in the morning that, you know, the mindset, like what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do? How many rounds am I gonna do? How I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. And I'm gonna, you know, finish the first part of my day, that's the training. And then the second, maybe I have all the training, I have to teach some classes, or I have the third training. And I really think like in the morning is really important, you know, being a positive. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really important. But, but you don't eat in the morning at all? Or do you take a fruit or anything? Depend. Sometimes I train too late, 
and then I have something small. Um, I like to have a strong coffee because it's gonna like you know the the hide a little bit the appetite, and or if, if I'm I, I I listen to my body. If I'm hungry, I eat something. If I don't, I prefer train not putting nothing in my stomach. I've heard a lot of fighters like to don't eat too much because when they're training because they they feel more hungry when they're fighting. Do do you agree with that? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, scientifically proved too that says that you know um, when you don't have nothing in your stomach, your body, your blood, you know you don't have anything to 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 focus on the digestion or nothing. So they go straight to, to your muscle, straight to your brain, you know. And besides that, when you have a little bit in your stomach, you can't focus 100%. All your blood is like in your brain, your muscle, you know, focusing that thing, you're gonna do it. And I just like it to, to, to train like that. And sometimes when I start in like a burp, feel a little bit full, oh, the training is over for me. I understand. And it's very interesting because uh, there's something called the blue zones. Uh, there's a p certain parts of the world where people live very long. And one of those places is Okinawa. Uh, at small islands, uh, yeah. Japan, underneath Japan, actually where karate came from. But also uh, what's interesting over there is that they have a saying called harahachibu. I don't know if you heard it, but harahachibu means stop when you're 80% full. So they live very long and they've done a lot of research. One of the things is they have big families, many generations at the table, but Another thing that is very interesting is that they eat less than they need. And yeah, so I think that is very interesting that you say that, uh, that you don't eat that much, especially in the morning because you want to feel ready for the fight and be ready. Uh, I like that. So what time is your first training usually in the morning? Um, I do MMA. Nah. So like MMA is involved with a lot of martial arts. Uh, Monday usually I do... Uh, MMA gloves, small gloves, a lot of drills. In the morning at uh, 10 o'clock or 11? 12, 12, 12 until 12. 2. Uh, MMA gloves, we do a lot of punchings with each other and takedowns, you know, as some days are different drills than the others. After that, we do some specific work, maybe ground, maybe walk in the cage, and then we get some sparring. They will be the MMA gloves, heating. Not 100% because the MMA glove, you can cut someone, you can break someone's, you know, um, whatever nose or something cut so we touch let's say 60 70 percent kicks and takedowns wrestling and jiu-jitsu work 100 percent because you know all the power we do at 100 percent it's very intense in the training um that's why i do usually mondays